Okay, dear student, let us see what is there in this question. According to the Bohr's model of hydrogen, the visible light is emitted when the electrons make a transition from the excited states to n is equal to 2. Absolutely correct. Like um, uh, this is the nucleus, n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when any electron is jumping from any of the upper shells to the to the one, we call the diamond series. And it produces UV radiation. And when anybody is jumping into the shell number two, the energy produced like these are known as Balmer series. And they will produce the visible light. And beyond it, like if any electron is jumping into shell number three or shell number four or shell number five, they, they have different names. So Lyman Balmer, this is Pastion Bracket Fund. So uh, these are different names given to different series. But in all these series, the later series, um, Pastion Bracket and Fund, infrared radiation is produced in all of them. So extra piece of information, you can just look at this. Now it is given that yes, they are jumping into n is equal to 2. They are literally talking about the Palmer series and the electron can make the transition from any of the higher energy levels, but it has to come to the neutron, to the second shell. The dotted line um, is shown. So this is the line which is shown from n is equal to 3 to n is equal to 2 and he is literally talking about the wavelength. Now what is happening is, let me draw this again. Let's say this is n is equal to 1 and this is n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3. Now the electron is jumping into 2. So it is coming from like this and then it is going from like this and then like this. So we can clearly see that when the electron is making a transition from n is equal to 3 to n is equal to 2, the gap of energy is minimum. So a photon is released when this transition is taking place. It is releasing a photon. And the energy of a photon is given by hc by lambda. Now if the energy is less, it only means that the wavelength will be more. Let us go for the next one. Like let's say there is an electron making transition from 4 to 2. Clearly the energy gap has increased. So the photon will be having more energy now. That is the condition when the electron is making a transition. It releases only one packet of energy. So whatever is the energy, it is packed in one packet. So clearly the photon which is now when it is making a transition from n is equal to 4 to n is equal to 2 that photon is bigger in size and having more energy now more energy means lesser wavelength so wavelength will be lesser it will be going towards the left hand side not towards the right hand side so first thing is you cannot go to the right hand side so in the next option like in the c and d which are not shown in the question here i will show it later to you in that question okay let me show it now yeah c and d you can clearly see these radiations are towards right. These lines are drawn towards right, but that is not possible. So C and D is definitely wrong. So our correct answer is hidden only in A and B. Now, having said that, let us now think more. Now, when this, when we are concerned with this gap, no. What happens is this gap keeps on reducing. Like the fifth shell is near to the fourth shell. So now it is making a transition from five to two. So what is the gap in the energy in 4 and 5? Like the, the, the difference in the energy gap when the electrons are making transition from 4 to 2 and 5 to 2. If you see that, that gap is very, very small. It means that farther you go away, the gap should keep on decreasing. So the first gap is big. Then you can see is a very small gap. Then it is even smaller. For the next one, it will be even smaller gap. Okay, so clearly B will be the correct answer. A will not be correct answer. Now this can be said, this is the argument which is correct for the hydrogen. It is not correct for any other thing. Like if you're talking about helium, you're talking about uh, some other um, uh, material, you would be having a different kind of uh, spectrum there. So in the case of hydrogen, I know that yes, the gap keeps on increasing. So accordingly, we can say that yes, B will definitely be correct. If there is some other element, those things will be given to you in the question, I believe, because we are not supposed to remember that. Okay, dear students, so this is Professor Varun. Let us verify the answer first of all, and then we can leave. As the answer B is absolutely correct. Thanks for watching the video. All the best. Bye.